Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video we're going to do a technical analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin and Tron. So guys if you have been following me I usually do price predictions and news updates and a bit of technical analysis. I've had loads of comments to do technical analysis and do some unique videos so I thought I'd do a technical analysis for the top 5 coins that are mostly commented on my channel so bitcoin ethereum and litecoin the top three coins xrp uh, the top four coins and i wanted to also do it on tron as i've got a lot of tron f uh, subscribers on my channel xrp is also a really popular coin on my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so guys uh, if, you, if you've been in bitcoin and cryptocurrency market i'm sure you, you're aware that we're in a bear market we, we're massively we're in a massively downward market guys and recently guys we've had a big red, a red candle we we started to see some some green i wouldn't call it a bullish candle we started to see some upward movement and today about a couple of hours ago uh, specifically we've had a massive red candle guys and it's not looking great we were hoping that we we're going to form a higher low uh, pattern but uh, a bit higher and then form a higher low but it, it wasn't meant to be and um, this trend line has been quite strong previously we were bouncing off uh, 618 fib level three times but this time we fell short and by the look of it this time again we fell short and um, so this trend line is going to be massive resistance guys the 50 moving average and then we've got the 100 moving average on there they're going to be resistance as well so for us to go up guys it's looking unlikely unless there's some news uh, pushing us higher up it's unlikely that we're going to uh, go on that we're going to consolidate and go on that bull run it's more looking likely that it will break down we'll have to see guys i'm not saying it will break down but um the the support levels are quite thin it's it, there's not much support level um if that breaks down guys i'd say probably 5000 is a round figure people that don't do technical analysis probably have some orders in, in the 5000 level so that can uh, stick if not guys we could be looking at lower um I mean, my I, I was thinking around kind of four and a half thousand level. So there's some resistance here. So there might be uh, where where we go for four and a half thousand level. I've got some orders in there, but it's not looking great because there's not too much support. We've held bulls have fought for this level, the six thousand level, and we've always as soon as we fell down, we've bought back. But this time, guys. Hey, I'm not sure if the bulls will be able to fight for that level. So this is what's Bitcoin looking like on a longer time frame. And the daily time frame, guys, is not much has changed. Like I've said, it it bounced, it it, it dropped um, earlier this month, and I actually it got in in this play. It bounced, it it fell off the twenty, it rejected of the twenty twenty moving average. I actually had a short position there, which which worked out quite well, and we're hoping that. Bitcoin won't break this uh, lower uh, this low and hopefully Bitcoin will be able to move up so this is what we're looking at in the in a lot shorter time frame let's look at the 15 minute time frame uh, RSI is quite beat down guys and we're hoping that it can go up and I think again the, the 50 moving average will be a massive resistance but we'll see what happens we'll have to just wait and see but again don't 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 start buying as soon as you see a couple of green candles we on a, we are in a bear market in a, in a downward market so do not do not just start buying into and uh, thinking that we're going to go higher and higher just by seeing a couple of greens there's loads of resistance we have to go through and i believe that unless there's some massive news pushing the price up it's unlikely we're going to see a move up so the two levels that i'm looking at that could bitcoin could potentially go down to are around four and a half thousand i've done a lot of fib put a lot of fibs around and, and tried to play around and according to my my analysis the f moving fibs around i think four and a half level four and a half thousand should be strong resistance and it should support at that level but again we'll have to wait and see guys what what uh, what we get but it, it's gonna be we'll have to wait and see i'm, I'm expecting a break of these kind of equilibrium this this kind of 
consolidation I'm, I'm expecting a break upwards or downwards around end of this month october time but we'll have to wait and see guys uh, but bitcoin and cryptocurrency markets not looking great and when bitcoin is down guys the whole cryptocurrency market is down as bitcoin is king so bitcoin it took a bit longer to do this analysis the other coins that i'll be looking at will be slightly shorter so ethereum guys ethereum is slightly more beat down than 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 bitcoin because bitcoin has still got some support underneath it there's no support for weekly on on the weekly chart for ethereum there is no support the next support is probably 150 130 level so it is not looking great ethereum now is at a 886 fib level which which sometimes see strong bounce i was happy i mean i was slightly bullish more bullish on ethereum than on bitcoin recently because bitcoin ethereum is beat down so much and it's looking better on the short term it's looking better than bitcoin it's slightly better than bitcoin if we can say it but again it's still not great and we beat down guys and and if ethereum i'm looking at maybe 150 136 pound a uh, dollar if, if if ethereum keeps breaking down on the shorter time frame guys Ethereum was holding slightly better. It, it's it's seen more upward movement than uh, than any than any than Bitcoin and, and the major coins. But again, it, it broke down and then it didn't even test the 20 moving average. It just literally fell, and it's not looking great. We'll see if it can go above it, but there's it's not looking great for Ethereum. It hopefully will hold these levels and maybe form a double bottom and move up but we'll have to see what happens on ethereum the same as um, bitcoin on a massive downward market and it's not looking great for ethereum either guys but yeah it needs to hopefully it can hold this level and bitcoin can hold this level as well but we'll have to see which way bitcoin breaks uh, breaks towards this is going to be key there are some uh, bullish news on etfs but there's also some quite a few fud that's come out there's a fud about the uh, uh, mount gox again mount gox seems to never leave us away mount gox uh, fud is not looking great i've i've tweeted it on my twitter so that might have had a play in this in this in this downturn but bitcoin and ethereum are in a bear market anyway so any fud um it doesn't act well so ethereum we're looking ethereum is slightly more bid down than bitcoin and we're looking at maybe 150 136 pound level so it's not looking great for ethereum either i'm being i'm, I'm being quite negative guys but i'm just talking about what what i'm seeing and it's not looking great xrp guys is similar to uh, um, ethereum only bitcoin has support on the weekly chart ethereum and xrp they've got no support and it's kind of on a free fall if you look at where it needs to go down maybe there's some support um if you if you keep looking guys there's not much support for for xrp so we are hoping this xrp can hold xrp can hold these levels and doesn't break below it i was i was kind of looking forward to xrp to break higher and um, it, it, it seemed to um seemed fairly bullish on this break breakout we were hoping they can keep going higher it consolidate and keep going higher but um, xrp also broke down like every other coin and it's not looking great for xrp uh, we're hoping that xrp can stay above these levels um, 25 cents but we'll have to see how it plays out again it depends on bitcoin so i've made a lot of xrp videos on my channel and i can come across as bullish on xrp longer term because of the partner because of the fundamentals maybe for on xrp but technical analysis guys again i'm not saying xrp will go to uh, two cents or even lower this is technical analysis guys there's two different parts longer term if i'm massively bullish on bitcoin longer term although i'm this video is coming across very bearish i'm saying it's going to go down 4000 uh, 5000 but longer term i'm massively bullish guys on bitcoin specifically guys so that's what we're looking for, looking for xrp xrp needs to hold this level guys i'm not going to predict where it, where it's going to hold again if it doesn't hold this level but um xrp needs to hold this level so that's kind of my uh, where i see xrp holding but if, if xrp fails at those levels guys um it's difficult to say where xrp will go we'll have to look at last year where it was last year and 
and find the levels i'm not making any predictions for that i'm i'm hoping that xrp can hold these levels but again we'll have to watch what bitcoin is doing litecoin is similar to xrp and ethereum there's no weekly support behind it and litecoin has been beat down massively guys it's not looking great at, for litecoin there is the litecoin is sitting on the 886 fib level which is a fib level that seems to work and that's why i've got the fib level on for for litecoin and litecoin is trying to hold these levels if it breaks down the litecoin is looking quite bearish and um, we could see it drop down to 33 dollars uh, in, in i mean i'm not saying it will drop straight away it could move around consolidate but if bitcoin breaks lower we could see litecoin at 33 dollars finally tron guys and um, again this chart on on trading view hasn't got uh, that much chart history for Tron but just looking at looking at it guys again similar to kind of Litecoin there's got some support here and we need to make sure uh, Tron holds this level so Tron potentially could get a bounce of that with the 21 probably 21 uh, 20 moving at a can't get my words out guys the 20 moving average will probably be resistance hopefully tron will be able to hold these levels but if, if that if it fails there there's some support su uh, support here if not guys tron could be on a free fall as well so i'm hoping uh, if you're bullish on tron you should you be hoping that tron holds that not 0.16 level but again like most of the old coin guys they're looking like this it's not just specifically tron and um, bit uh, xrp most of the old coins are looking very similar similar patterns as bitcoin is king we need to see what bitcoin does next uh, like i've said i'm expecting this equally can't um, see i can't seem to be able to say equilibrium today so this consolidation this this triangle if bitcoin is to break out of this triangle and when it breaks out we'll see what happens but we're hoping that it will obviously break out to the break out upwards but i think without any news fueling this this upward movement we're unlikely to see an upward movement and if i if someone asked me where bitcoin is going out say it's going to break lower and there's going to be so many stop levels just below this guys uh, five uh, six thousand dollars level uh, if, if bitcoin goes there i see it dropping to four thousand four and a half thousand because there's so many stop levels because you can see the bulls have been buying the six thousand five thousand nine hundred level they must be leaving stops below it so if, if bitcoin drops there there's gonna be a massive flush down so that's just a quick technical analysis guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel um i usually do like i've said news pretty news news and price prediction and just keep you guys up to date on on longer term price predictions and fundamental analysis so uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll do a lot more technical analysis guys my plan is to do two three maybe four technical analysis a week on the major coins guys uh, if you have any coin prediction you want me to do technical analysis on comment below and i will cover them in my next technical analysis video so this is a new addition to this channel i'll be doing a lot more technical analysis on this channel if there's a major breakout of any coin i'll make sure i cover it uh, another coin that you should maybe keep an eye on is dash dash is probably the one of the only few coins that are looking good uh, in this market apart from that like i've said guys we need to see what bitcoin does but it is not looking great again so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much